Michigan's new no-fault law adversely affects Michigan motorcyclists. This is Jason Wachter and I'm going to let you know what the highlights are and how the changes affect us. There are new bodily injury limits under the new no-fault law. The old law required that drivers carried a minimum of $2040 worth of bodily injury coverage. This means $20,000 worth of coverage for any one person injured and up to $40,000 for two or more persons in that same crash. That's why they call it 2040. The new law increases the minimum limits to 50,000 to 5,100,000. 50,000 for any individual and any group of people could be paid up to $100,000. Here's my analysis. Negligent drivers, if they have insurance, will now have a higher insurance limit if they chose the minimum. That's great. From 20 to 50, there's $30,000 worth of coverage for an individual. However, as I've stated in other videos, the bodily injury coverage may need to be used to pay non-covered medical bills, to reimburse health insurance liens, to leaving the injured biker with little to nothing in their pocket for pain and suffering. This, on its face, is good. There's more insurance for bodily injury. However, when it comes down to it, the practicality is the injured motorcyclist may never see any pain and suffering money whatsoever. All of this might be difficult to understand given this short video. A complete explanation is on our website, so see the link below. I'd also appreciate it if you'd like, subscribe, and share this video. We really need to get the word out to Michigan motorcyclists. Thank you, and feel free to call me about anything.